So the first thing when looking up campground is where do you want to go, right? There's all sorts of campgrounds all over the place and identifying a general area where you're looking to go. Then it's the time to research. So you can go on Google, you can go on uh, to different campground websites and actually search campgrounds in whatever area. So let's say you're going in the greater Boston area. So you could do campgrounds in Massachusetts or campgrounds in Boston. You're going to Orlando, you might do campgrounds near Disney World, right? So you look that up. Then you're gonna find yourself on a lot of these campgrounds websites. And that's where it's really important on your first camping trip that we do some preparation. So some of the biggest items of preparation is number one, will your RV even fit on the site? And I know that sounds funny, but there are certain restrictions for certain sites. So they may say on the sites, no more than 30 feet for this particular site. Or it might be restricted to slides, slide outs, only on one side, not on both sides. So these are important things to look up and really do some research. If the website, if the campground doesn't have it on there, give them a call and ask them, what are the restrictions? When thinking about the size of your camper, you have to think about not just the length of the box. So oftentimes an RV, uh, the model number says like a 28 bunkhouse, right? But oftentimes that doesn't include the bumper and the hitch. So your RV may actually be 32, 33 feet. So make sure you know that because a lot of campgrounds may have restrictions at 30 or 35 or 40 feet. If you have a big 45 foot bus, you may not be able to put it on that 40 foot site. Another thing to consider if you have a tow vehicle and you have the RV is the full length that you can put on it. Some campgrounds have restrictions on your car or your tow vehicle on the actual road of the campground. So it's important to consider all these things when looking at the size of the site. A second thing to look for when looking at campsites is the amenities for that particular site. So RVs come in all shapes and sizes nowadays. One of the most important things to consider is your electricity and they call it amps, right? So most RVs come in either 30 or 50 amps. A 30 amp generally is gonna have uh, one AC and a whole bunch of electronics in it. Most RVs with two or more ACs are 50 amps. That's a rule of thumb. It's not 100% true. So when looking up the campgrounds, you may have two uh, air conditioners on your RV, maybe a 50 amp camper. And if you wanna use both of those at the same time and not use an adapter and have to use one air conditioner or the other, uh, you'll want to make sure that you find a 50 amp site. 